So I don't have my editing stuff here with me today. So I'm gonna try and do this all in one take with my cell phone. I have a 2015 Subaru Forester that we are experimenting on with the VVT learned values. Now I don't take full credit for this. I take partial credit for this. Um, I had a vehicle in the shop with ghost misfires, falsely counting misfires. I needed a method of clearing the learned misfire profile. I was down to condemning the ECM. Um, someone posted a bizarre method of clearing that. So I took that method and applied it to the newer Subarus and it wouldn't work for me. That method is to turn the key off, insert um, the test fuse or inspection fuse under the hood, and then clear codes, turn the key off, remove the fuse. It wouldn't work on the newer Subarus and I was missing one step and it's only because my scan tool didn't have the option built into it, uh, the one I was using at the time. So I have the launch hooked up and I've confirmed that it works with the Autel as well. I'm gonna flip you around, show you my screen at the VVT learned values on this 2015 Subaru Forester with the 2.5 liter engine. This one has VVT only on the intake cams. Uh, the vehicle is currently running, sorry. Currently running, 30,000 miles. My learned VVT values are 31 degrees on one and two. I don't have exhaust pulled up because this doesn't have exhaust on this vehicle. So I'm gonna shut it off. We're gonna go under the hood and install a fuse. Um, inspection mode location is right here. We're just going to install this fuse. Now we're in test mode. Um, I can hear the cooling fans running underneath the hood, but nothing else has showed up on the screen. This is where I tried clearing codes and it would not change the VVT learned value when I did this previously. Well, uh, Joe Bellino, I think is his name. Sorry, I may have butchered the last name. Um, went a step further and tried some other methods based on what I had tested and Rob had transferred some data in between. Um, special functions. This isn't available in my Snap-on, it's available in the Autel and the launch. We're going to go to test mode change. We're gonna enter test mode. My check engine light is flashing. We're going to exit test mode. We're going to read fault codes, even though there's no fault codes. No trouble codes. We're going to clear fault memory. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so, sorry, I skipped a step. They wanted me to turn the key off. I hit okay too soon. A little overexcited on this one. Key on, we're gonna hit okay. Our engine light is no longer flashing. We're no longer in test mode. Let's go back to here. Uh, we are in inspection mode. The cooling fan is still running. But uh, I'll shut it off. I'll exit the inspection mode as well because we want those da the data pins to update. To exit that mode, we just have to remove this fuse. Go key on. Now my cooling fan's no longer running. All the warning lights are still up because I don't have the vehicle running. I want to show you the data PIDs have been zeroed out. Read data stream. We're going to scroll down here to VVT. Learning. Okay. Zeroed out. It just cleared the data without replacing the ECM, without reprogramming anything, without doing EEPROM work. Start the vehicle up and wait for this to update. Now this is a vehicle that did not have any issues and I wasn't beyond the learning value. So this information may change. So there, it just populated the information. Um, you know, I, I can't confirm that this will fix one that's beyond the, uh, the values listed in the TSB, but the fact that it is zeroed those values and no other method has, I think that this will work perfectly fine on any of those vehicles. And that means that a lot of these vehicles have had ECMs replaced for no reason. So if you found this video helpful at all, just hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, click the bell, share this in your Facebook groups. Um, if you have a, another method of doing this, let me know. I know you can do it via EEPROM. I know you can do it via replacing the ECM, but those are more labor intensive. They're expensive. Um, so that, that's it. I just want to share with you as soon as we figure this out, 
and uh, see you next time.